Hey, it's Baldy. In February of 2020, I got to go on the dream trip of a lifetime, at least for me, with a group of motor journalists I admire, to Morocco. Oh. <laughs> Triumph was introducing their new Tiger 900, which I was drooling over, and they had invited a who's who of riders to romp around Morocco for four days. Outside of a Moroccan cafe, there was this hooligan doing stoppies and wheelies, and I just had to find out who this guy was. Well, it turns out it was Lee Morrison, famous stunt rider with over 30 film credits to his name. So I took out my little pocket camera that I was carrying and I attempted to interview him in the parking lot. I didn't publish it till now because I was a little self-conscious about the pocket camera footage. But on the other hand, I just looked at it and it's fascinating. So here you go. Hey, so here we are with Lee Morrison. It's amazing. So you're the stunt coordinator for the latest Bond film? That's right, yeah. So it's my responsibility to design and coordinate the action for the new uh, Bond film, Bond 25. Yeah, so that on the preview there was that spectacular jump. Yeah. So, yeah, we're on the trailer, which we're yeah. talking about at the moment. Yeah. You see us jumping up a, a I think 12, 14 meter wall in um, the crap. city Matera in southern yeah. Italy. Yeah, so, amazing. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. And that jump was 90 feet long? Um, 45 feet up. 45 feet up? Up, traveling up. So, yeah, that was um, a pretty uh, real steep angle. Landing on a flat surface. Landing to flat, yeah. So, and you had Paul do that jump, Yep, right? so that was right. Uh, Bond doubles Paul Edmondson, so he's one of my yeah. team. Yeah. Uh, he's here with us in uh, Morocco. Yeah. So uh, you're going to go and meet him this afternoon or tomorrow and do some off-road riding with him. Very good rider, four times world champion. Um, four time world enduro, enduro champion. champion. Yeah. yeah, so a huge skill set. Very calm, very methodical, but then can turn yeah. it on. So Amazing. really cool. And you were stunt writer for stunt double for Matt Damon and Angelina yeah. Jolie and James Bond. I mean, yeah, very who lucky. Gets to be there? I know, Chris. I know, very lucky. I, yeah, dream job really for someone that's grew, grown up riding you know, from the age of four through schoolboy motocross, turning pro at 15, 16, getting injured unfortunately, and then my pro career finished to end up being a stunt double in the film industry. It's just a dream Amazing. come true. Really. So how did this so what kind of motorcycling did you do before you entered the film industry? So for me, I grew up racing nationals and rode for most yeah. of the manufacturers through my schoolboy yeah. career. Signed with Suzuki, like I said, got hurt my yeah. first year pro, broke my neck. So, yeah, 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 kind of. I was very lucky. I, um, I had a broken neck, C5, C6. Wow, and you had them fused. So yeah, uh, very, uh, there was a 90, oh, I'm not going to show my age here, 92, 90, yeah, 92 uh, I was fused. Yeah. Um, <coughs> and then, uh, and yeah, and then got, got back on, started riding again, but then went off and yeah, pursued some different paths. Well, you had pretty strict doctor's orders, didn't you? I did, yeah. yeah uh, was, which was, uh, I wouldn't do anything physical really again. And I wouldn't ride a bike, and I shouldn't be definitely riding a bike as a living. So yeah. I didn't agree with that, clearly. Yeah, you just said, <laughs> screw you, right? Uh, yeah, for sure. I, I think you said piss off. I did say piss off, very yeah. English of me. <laughs> to the doctor. Yeah, yeah. What's it like when you're doing some of these stunt double things, it, it, what's your heart rate? Oh, sometimes it can be through the roof, but a lot of the time during the during the tested and, and, and the concept stage, Chris, we try to eliminate all of the stress really. I see, yeah. Not only just for us, but even for the director, you know, the actors, and just so we know what we're going to get on the day. But when you're working in the Bond franchise, and I've been doing that for many years now, no matter who you are, what you're doing, yeah, the adrenaline's going, your heart rate's up, just try and keep it nice and calm, just focus on what you've got to try and achieve. And, and really. why is that about the Bond franchise? Because it's so daring? Or? I say, oh God, it's, it's, it's part of our culture. Because to be a British stuntman and then be on a Bond film, it doesn't yeah. get any better. I mean, even a lot of my colleagues yeah. that work in, from the States, anywhere in the world, for a stunt performer, male or female, you yeah. want to do a Bond film. Why would I betray you? We all have our secrets. And this latest Bond film was kind of a dream, right? You're friends with the director? Yep, yeah, so we worked very closely with Kerry Fukunaga, yeah. amazing director from the States. Um, yeah. And he bike, loves, he loves, loves motorcycles, loves right? motorcycles. He, he would love to be here with us now in Morocco. He's um, he's still working away. They're still doing final touches to the movie. Yeah. Here, but as soon as he wraps, um, he's going to come and do some riding with me in Vancouver. Yeah. So we're going to go and have a and ride. And that riding is on motorcycles? On motorcycles, yeah. But but you do uh, mountain bikes? Ride, yep. Yeah, passions, we yeah, riding motor, motorbikes. Skateboards? And skateboard. Got my yeah, boosted board. Loving yeah. that. That's always in my kit bag. Yeah. Got my uh, e-bike. So I'm a big convert yeah. to the e-bike world as well. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's really amazing. Yeah. So what do you have to do to train to be a stunt rider? I mean, you have to do 
Are you in the gym a lot? Uh, well, when you're performing in Dublin, yeah, for sure. I mean, you, it, a lot of the time, because you come from being a professional rider or you're trying to keep in shape and, and do that stuff, it's the same thing, really. But, but the most, I mean, the biggest difference being just a pro racer and a stunt double yeah. is you've got to basically match the person's size best you can. Yeah. So for me, if I was doubling Chris Evans on a Harley or I was, I was doubling Angelina or I was doubling someone else, you try and slim down or you try and, I mean, it's a little difficult when you're doubling someone yeah. like Angelina. Well, Angelina, how much weight did you have to lose? I was really, th I was thin at the time. I got down as the thinnest I've been ever, I think. I was down at 11 and a half, uh, just under 12 stone. But, uh, so you got thin, but how did thing. you look sexy? Thanks for that, Chris. Really <laughs> uh, so I had some help with the lovely uh, prosthetic department. Oh, you did? Yeah. So, Triumph 900. Yeah. Triple. What yeah. do you think of the bike? I'm, I, I'm, I love it. I'm actually going to, I'm going to be using one in, in Vancouver. I'm heading off in a couple of weeks. So I'm riding a 1200 at the moment. Uh, the 1200 Scrambler? T uh, Tiger. Oh, the Tiger. And I've used the Scrambler as well. Yeah. I've had, a, I've got a Bobber. I've got loads of different bikes all over the place really um, yeah I love the 900 um, I was really lucky because when myself and Carrie were looking at bikes for the new Bond film I, um, I wanted something like this you know adventure bike Dakarish because when you see the film there's a certain reason why, what they're wearing yeah. and what they've got on them yeah. um, so we chose the Tramontano yeah. me and Carrie loved it and we got that bike oh, yeah. that actual bike was brought to yeah. the studios we looked at it and then I said right great we're in We've chosen it, that's what we want. Um, and then I spoke to the guys at Triumph, Chris Cheatham, Tom Robinson, you know, obviously Nick Law. I said, and I said, I need nine of them now. Like, two minutes. Yes, nine. Like, oh. And they said, okay. And they're like, yeah, we'll make it happen. They and must so, have swallowed hard. Yeah, well, no, because you know what? It's one of the big good things I think, I think I've, I've found with Triumph now is you still feel like you're working with a small enough company that they can, if they say you're going to make it happen, yeah. it will happen and yeah. it gets done. Yeah. So they said, oh, look, we've got a bike under embargo, a prototype, a yeah. new 900, no one knows about it. Yeah. Can you test it and see if that will work? So me and Carrie looked at it and said, yeah, okay, we like the look of it, it looks cool. Let's bring them down, we'll test them. So we went, to, I sent two of my pro riders, they test them. Literally, I was shooting in Norway. Yeah. Got them on the phone, they said, we're good to go. Just going to stiffen it up. Wheels are pretty good. They're going to take the impact spot because I was designing yeah. a certain sequence, which again you'll see in the film. What were the wheels you were using? We used the standard wheels. Yeah, staying the standard wheels, put the off-road tires on, and I slotted the off-road rally tire. The cast wheels or the no, cross spokes? The, the cross spokes. Yeah, sorry. Because yeah. um, we run the rally pro. Yeah. That's what we run in the, in the yeah, movie. Yeah, I see. Um, yeah, and Paul rode it, and then I jumped on it and got to turn it full off-road pro mode. Yeah. And um, I was running two pound tire pressure, but. So we've the bike won us over very quickly. Yeah. I didn't get to ride it that much. So now being here, I've been playing around with both and riding yeah. both bikes. I love it. Yeah, I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna be using one in Vancouver. And uh, compared to the 1200 Scrambler, because didn't you also use the 1200 Scrambler in the Bond? Yes. Yeah. Again, I, I love that. I throw that around everywhere. Yeah. Really, well, that's great to see what that. Well, you'll be yeah. pleased to see that being ridden hard in the new film. Yeah. I think it looks badass. The it does. It looks Scrambler. super cool. I mean, the, what the guys at Triumph did, in, in again to build me. Uh, I had another nine of those. And another nine? Yeah. 1,200 yeah, scramblers. because I need so many different bikes for different shots, different times in the, in the chase sequence. Wow. Um, but again, I mean, yeah, a lot of big fan, 900. Yeah. Um, I'm going to be using one for a while. Oh, yeah, cool. Um, in between using the scrambler as well. And if, you know, if I'm in cruise mode, I'll be on the bobber. So, yeah, yeah I'm the sport, really. Yeah. But uh, did you see that YouTube of the 1200 Scrambler doing the Mexico I've just Mexican been, 1000? I've, yeah, I've just been speaking about that now. I'm, someone just sent me a link. I'm going to have a look at it. it looks, oh my God. It's good, right? Oh my, yeah, it's great. Yeah. It's, he, he looked like he was right on the edge. Yeah, he's with us. Oh, he is? Yeah, he's uh, yeah, Wow. Talking. That's amazing. He's, yeah. uh, he, I think he got fifth, and he's in there with the smaller enduro bikes and things, right. motocross bikes. Right. So, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to have a look. But yeah. again, when you see the scramblers being ridden in a by again, Paul Williamson riding it in, yeah. in Italy. Yeah. Yeah, it's being ridden really hard. And yeah. again, you know, we, awesome. we've thrown them around. Just then, my buddy Kevin showed up with a bigger camera and a better mic that didn't pick up the wind noise, so we kept talking. So, what was it like to have Harrison Ford? Does, does he do any? He does some of his own stuff. Harrison stunts, right? was in great shape. I mean, he's, he trains every day. He's in a mate. Yeah, he's really still real, really physical. He was on Indiana Jones, definitely. Yeah. Um, so to have him on the, to have Harrison on the back of the bike is a, a yeah. You imagine turning around, you've got 
you know, like Harrison Ford on the back of your motorcycle, yeah, and amazing. just and then you know sitting there with his whip or tucks his whip under his arm, puts his indie hat on, and says, "Let's go, come on, yeah. show us what you got." Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah, Spielberg said he just looked the part as soon as he put that oh. on. Yeah, so I mean, I think for all of us, well, again, it's another iconic franchise, isn't it? Um, yeah. Indiana Jones and oh, I remember yeah. the very first day that I, I met um, Harrison I was rehearsing at Agadolsi airstrip uh, I was drifting around on my bike and working out some of the things we were going to try and achieve and my first AD at the time Adam Sumner said oh Lee can you uh, Harrison's on his way can you go and pick him up and I was like where, where, where from he said go just ride down the end of the airport you'll, you'll see him coming so I did I'm sitting there on my bike and waiting and I saw an Augusta helicopter go <laughs> over the top of the ridge line lands, see Harrison on his own, flies himself in, drops it straight onto the airfield, yeah. lets the rotors cut, wind down, and then yeah. uh, puts his indie hat on, gets his whip, newspaper, and gets out of his heli and jobs on my bike. Oh my God, Pretty I cool. just can't imagine. Can't <laughs> imagine. So how close did you get to work with some of the other actors and like Angelina? Yep, yeah, you work with them every day. Um, obviously they've got a huge amount on their schedule. So depending on what I'm doing, if I'm, when I was performing in Dublin, so yeah. I'd make sure all their stunts were prepped or I was ready to go and then just actually work through anything with them. So you work yeah. with them every day. So how much do you have to get in their character? What, what, what do you, what, how do you look like them? How do you act like them? What posture? Yeah, do, I mean, it's really important to get into the same character as, as them and obviously adopt to how they move, for their postures and things like that. So a lot of it is when they're training with you, then you'll you're mimic them, so then yeah. you can actually learn to move like them. Sometimes you try and blend how you both move into one style. Yeah. So especially motorcycles, it's easier for me to teach an actor or an actress the correct form of riding, especially yeah. on a, something like the 900, where you sit yeah. this more sit up dirt bike riding yeah. style, yeah. rather than sitting down street bike. So I'll, I will, while I'm coaching them, or while the bro whoever's doubling them, will coach them, try and bring them up, make them yeah. meet midway between the two styles. Yeah, amazing. So. Um, do you get in post-production and you and the director look at the film and see if it's going to fool the audience? Yeah, it depends. What, so during how it works for me filming now in my role, so I'm now a stunt coordinator, yeah. so I help design and coordinate the action. Yeah. Even all the way through into post, sometimes you might get a call saying, actually, can you just look at a quick edit? Yeah. You know, are, are you happy with how this punch is reading? Yeah. Do we need to ex CG fix it or is anything like that? So sometimes still working into post. And just like that, we had to abort because our groups were leaving. Forks being too steep, but then how do you get? Ooh, look at that! Oh, oh he's okay. You just said you were clear, you were trying to follow me, and you couldn't do it, you couldn't hang. Couldn't do it, huh? Uh, uh, Steve Camrad was trying to follow me, you just couldn't hold on. I saw it, I recorded it. Oh man, oh man. This is a, this is a different day for the internet. Normally the people crash trying to follow you. What is this? I February? heard it to a stop. Technically it wasn't a crash. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that little taste of behind the scenes in Morocco. I love to read the comments, so if you'll leave us a comment and let us know what you think, we'd much appreciate it. And a like too. Thank you so much.